Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to discuss about data sharing. Now, data sharing allows you to share your data across organizations. It means it is not necessary that you need to share your data within your organization. You can even share your data outside to an external organization. Now, data sharing works in two ways. The first one is open sharing version and the other one is Databricks to Databricks sharing version. Now, open sharing version allows you to share data if the external party or the party who is the recipient does not use Databricks. For example, they are using Apache Spark or Power BI. You can even share your data to them. Databricks to Databricks sharing allows you to share your data with someone who is already using Databricks. Okay, so there are two modes in which you can go ahead and use Delta sharing. Now, Delta sharing is a read only share. It means whatever data that you share to an external party, they cannot modify or update the data. Okay, now we are going to see how you can enable Delta sharing to share your data to an external organization or how you can share your data across different meta stores. So if you remember our previous video where we have shared data across workspaces within the same meta store. Now the step for the meta store data sharing is same. The only difference is you don't need to enable external data share at the meta store level. Now, if you are feeling confused, don't worry about it. We are going to see all of this with demo. If you have not seen our previous videos, go ahead and watch this playlist from the beginning. So without any further delay, let's begin. Now, in order to work with this demo, we need a Databricks outside of our organization. So what I have done is I have signed up for an Express Edition. You can also do it. Just go in Google and search for Databricks Express Edition. Once you are here, just click on the first link. Now, once you are on this landing page, go ahead and sign up for this Express Edition. Now, this Express Editions provide you some free credits that you can use to work with Databricks. And this is completely production ready workspace that you can go ahead and use. The only difference is this is completely serverless. It means all purpose computes are not available on this Express Edition. But this does not create any problem because you can go ahead and use the serverless offerings from Databricks. Now, I have already signed up for this free trial Express Edition. Let me show you the workspace. Now, this is the workspace that you get with free Express Edition trial. Okay. If I click on this manage trial on the right, you can see I get $40 of credits in order to try out Databricks. Now, this is completely a production ready workspace. It means you get all the offerings from Databricks side. Okay. So we are going to use this workspace as an external organization for our Delta sharing today. So let me just close this. And now I'll go back to the account console for our Azure Databricks. Great. I'm back in my account console of Azure Databricks. Now, this is the account console that we have been using since the beginning of this course. OK, so if I go to catalogs. And if you see, this is the meta store that we have been using. So let me just expand this. And now in the bottom, you can see Delta sharing. Now, one point to note, if you are sharing your data outside your organization, then you need to enable this option. But if you are only sharing data within your organization, but to a different meta store, you don't need to enable this. But today we are going to share our data to the outside organization workspace that we have created, right? So let me just enable this. It gives me an option to set expiration for the token that it will create for the external organization. Okay. But I don't need to change anything here. So I'll let it be. Okay. The only thing that you need to do is you need to provide an organization name. I have already provided one, which is ease with data Azure ADB. Okay. Let me just click on enable. Now, once I do this, you can see the Delta sharing lifetime token has been enabled for three months. Okay. So Delta sharing is now enabled on our meta store in order to share data with external organization. Okay. Now let me quickly go back to our dev Azure workspace. Now I am in my dev workspace. So you can see on the top, it is easy with data ADB. Okay. And this is the Azure workspace that we have been using since the beginning. Now, in order to work with Delta sharing, you need to have permissions. Okay. So let me just go to catalog. And I am logged in with Ease with Data User. So if I click on the right, you can see this is Ease Data User. And this is a Metastore admin. So it has all the permissions in order to work with Delta Sharing. But if you are a user who is not a Metastore admin and you need permissions to work with Delta Sharing, you just need to have all of this permission. So I'll click on this settings button. If I go to Metastore, if I go to permissions, if I click on grant, now in order to work with Delta Sharing, you need to have permissions like create provider, create recipient, create share. Now, these three permissions are required in order to share data. But if you want to use the shared data, you need the below three permissions. Okay. 
So you understand that in order to work with delta sharing, you need additional permissions and your meta store admin should be able to give you all this required permission. Now, since I'm already logged in with meta store admin, so I don't need any other permission. So I'll just close this window here and I'll go back to catalog. In order to get started with delta sharing, I need to go to this particular tab. So I'll click on this delta sharing. Now, once you are on this landing page, you'll get two options. The first option is shared with me. The second option is shared by me. Okay. So the first option shared with me gives you the list of all the shares that has been shared with your workspace or your organization. Okay. Now shared by me is where you are going to share your data with an external organization or a different meta store. Now, before we can share our data with someone else, we need to first create a recipient. Okay. Who would receive our data? Now, since we already have an external organization created as an express edition, we are going to share our data with that particular organization. So the first step that we need to do is we need to create our recipient. So I'll just go ahead and click on new recipient. So I'll just provide the name as external AWS ADB. Okay. Now you can see two options here. The first one is Databricks and the second one is Token. Okay. Now, since the Express Edition is a Databricks workspace, we can go ahead and use the Databricks to Databricks sharing method. But if you are sharing with someone who uses an open source sharing, you can go ahead and create a token here and share with the recipient in order to use the Delta sharing. Now we are going to use Databricks share. So I'll just check Databricks. Okay. The next thing is to provide the ID of the recipient. Okay. So I'll quickly go back to my Express Edition. And I'll go to catalogs. I'll go to Delta Sharing. Now, on the top right, you can go ahead and see your Delta Sharing organization name. Click on this. Copy the sharing identifier. Click on this. Once you do this, your sharing identifier would be copied. Now, let's quickly go back to our Azure again. And here we will paste that organization ID. So I'll just paste it here. Okay. Once this is done, just click on Create. Great. Now, if you see, our recipient is created okay now in order to share data we need to create a share the next step is to create a share okay so i'll quickly go back to catalog explorer again i'll go to delta sharing i'll go to shared by me and i'll click on share data okay now i'll just provide a name of our share so i'm going to share our branch schema okay so i'll just type branch share okay i'll click on save and continue now i'll select the schema that i want to share that is under the dev catalog so i'll expand dev and i'll select bronze okay now it tells me that we need to provide select execute and read volume permission to ease with data user in order to share the data outside right because all of these permissions are read only permission and we know that delta sharing is only a read only option right so i'll just click on grant and select okay this is done if i scroll down i'll click on save and continue and I'll not give any notebook files or any other external location. I'll just click on save and continue. I'll select the recipient which we have just created, which is our external AWS ADB. And I'll click on share data. Great. It says our data is shared. Okay. So if I go to shares again, if I now refresh, you can see the branch share here. Okay. Let me just click on this. And if I go to recipients, you can see we have shared this branch share with external AWS ADB. Okay. Now we have completed our sharing from the Azure side. Now, in order to use this data, we have to go to the recipient workspace, which is our Express Edition. So I'll quickly go back to our Express Edition workspace. Now I'm in the Express Edition workspace. Okay. Now the data is already shared from Azure and we should be able to see it from here. Okay. So if I see it here and if I refresh, you can see still we don't have access to that particular share which has been shared with us right so in order to get that permission first we need to have use provider permission okay so i'll just go to catalogs here i'll click on this settings button i'll click on meta store and i'll click on permission now my user is ease with data email id right so i'll just grant that permission of use provider to it okay so i'll search my user email here which is ease with data gmail in the express edition and i'll give permission like use provider use recipient and use share okay and i'll click on grant okay this is done let me quickly go back to delta sharing again so i'll click on catalog i'll click on delta sharing great now you can see the provider which was our azure adb which shared the data right so let me just go ahead and click on this azure adb 
and now you can see the share that has been shared from the Azure site. Okay. In order to use this, we first need to create a Delta sharing catalog. Okay. So in order to do that, you just need to click on create catalog and you just need to provide the name. Okay. So I'll just give branch share. Okay. Let me just click on create. It says the catalog is done. Let's go back to catalogs. And if I refresh here on the left hand side, you can see bronze share. Okay. If I expand this, you can see the bronze schema. If I expand this, you can see all of the 20 tables that has been shared from the Azure side to the Express Edition. Even you can see the volumes here. Okay. So if you remember, we have given read permission for the volumes as well. Even you can see the functions. Okay. That we have shared from our Azure side. So now you understand how you can share your data from one organization to a different external organization using Delta sharing. Now, you can even use the same process in order to share your data to different meta stores. The only difference is you need to go back to account console. And in order to only share to different meta store, you don't need to allow this permission. This permission is only required when you need to share your data outside your organization. But if you are going to share your data within your organization to a different meta store, you can go ahead and follow the same process of creating Delta sharing only difference is you just have to uncheck this you don't need to enable this option at all okay great now that we have seen how you can use the databricks sharing method in order to use delta sharing in order to allow different organizations to use your data now in order to use open sharing only difference is you can go ahead and use delta sharing libraries that has been provided by delta io okay you can go to this page delta io dot sharing and you can click on this get started in order to get to the github repository which allows you to use delta sharing using open sharing protocol there are a lot of code examples that has been provided in this github repo so if you scroll down you can go ahead and see how you can use python in order to read the data that has been shared by your provider using open sharing protocol via delta sharing now one more point to notice this is all managed by unity catalog so if you are sharing your data from one Databricks to different Databricks organization, you have to make sure both of the organizations should have Unity Catalog enabled. And you can go ahead and use Unity Catalog in order to govern and secure your Delta shares as well. This was all for today. See you in our next video. Till then, keep learning, keep growing and keep sharing.